Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Reiner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, today I wanted to review a little bit of uh, fusion preferences. Um, gotten a few questions about it lately so I thought I'd uh, hit this one head on. Uh, there's not a lot to review but uh, I thought I'd show you maybe um, some of the default settings and, and some of the settings that I um, have my my uh, Fusion 360 set at. So I have my uh, Fusion open. You can access yours right here in the top right uh, where your name exists. You see mine, Dave Briner, and if I come down, there's the preference setting right underneath. So a lot of these are um, default settings out of the box. However, I have tweaked a few of them or will tweak a few. And uh, the first one up is the general settings. Um, uh, language use. Uh, there's not a lot of selections under here, but uh, I think I'll stick with English on this one. Um, graphic driver. I just let it auto select. There's an offline cache time period. I have mine set at 60. You can move it up a little bit. And this is for if you go out to a customer um, or if your internet um, goes down for a while, you can save all of your designs offline. Uh, the next time you log on and activate the internet, your software will sync up with uh, the Fusion Cloud and upload all of your designs. So uh, you can work here and they'll, they'll hold your, uh, your designs for whatever time period as a maximum use state. Uh, automatic version on close, I leave this one off. I usually typically save before I close. I don't need to add another version so I leave that one off. Uh, auto recovery, I have mine set at five minutes. Uh, default model orientation, um, it, the default is Y up and uh, you can choose the Z up which I guess may, um, may be an advantage of people that are doing um, machining on some of their parts. That may be uh, one reason to have your Z axis up but I just leave mine uh, set at the Y. Uh, the tool tips on most of these, I just leave them all checked. Uh, right now, it doesn't hurt. Uh, nice um, heads up on some of the on some of the uh, selections, maybe especially those you haven't seen for a while. Uh, the pan zoom orbit, uh, I just leave it fusion, but you can set it to Alias Inventor or come from SolidWorks. It'll it'll utilize those um, those type of shortcuts. I just stick with the fusion. Uh, the default orbit type. Now you can, it's this uh, free orbit or constrained orbit, and they are pretty much the same as what you're going to, they're exactly what you're going to get right here. Um, working with this from time to time, I do kind of prefer the constrained orbit. So uh, I have found them to be just a little bit more helpful. So here's one that you can certainly, you can certainly set. Uh, the mouse uh, reverse zoom direction on the mouse roller, um, I guess it's here for some of our AutoCAD friends. Um, and the camera pivot and gesture base, I just leave those as they are. So since I changed my constraint orbit, I can say apply. Uh, going through these, I really, a lot of these are out of the box. I don't play with the API. Um, I just leave those where they are. Uh, the design, uh, here's another one that I guess um, Active component on visi uh, component visibility. This one I leave checked, and this one is. Uh, let's take a look. This one comes in pretty handy if I end up coming up here and I want to uh, select one of my components here. I'll just say uh, maybe the end cap here, and I'm going to if I want to activate it. You can see that everything else will go um, semi-transparent, and your active part. Uh, will stay opaque. So this is uh, a real advantage, especially when you're working on something. So um, I definitely leave this one checked. It's a uh, it's a big help when you uh, when you're working on something. So we'll leave that one uh, again. Uh, preference, but I find this to be uh, to be a big help. So I leave that one. Capture design history. I highly recommend you keep that one. Uh, that's just going to be the history as you build the model. Uh, defer, default workspace, I guess if you are a little bit more on the sculpting or patch side, uh, you can certainly do that. I uh, start everything out in my model space. 
so I leave that one. Uh, animate animate uh, joint preview. Yes, I want that one. Um, allow 3D sketching on lines and splines. I, you know, if you do any 3D sketching and you want to project them, I certainly see that this one could be an advantage. Um, I do like uh, some of the auto project edges. Um, auto look at the sketch. Edit dimensions when created. I like all those. Um, show goes to the result body and auto project geometry on active sketch plane. So. Um, I pretty much got everything here checked. <laughs> uh, render, uh, I don't play with these a lot, these settings a lot. You can um, you can adjust these as you like. Uh, cam is another one. I do go into the cam occasionally, but a lot of those uh, you can um, set inside the cam option. Uh, certainly, tool uh, show tool numbers. Maybe one tool description. You definitely want that one probably. Uh, drawing now this one here yes you might want to adjust this one quite a bit uh, you can pick your standard and hair from design ISO or ASME I, I uh, typically work just in ASME inches and I like to have all um, my initial sheet come up as a C size I know a lot of companies work in D's or maybe even a B um, or E but um, from, from what I do I kind of like the C size sheet and third angle uh, text height uh, 0.12 aerial uh, I want my units fractional uh, rounded to a sixteenth and I want to display units so um, these are kind of typical for what I, the way I work certainly yours may differ uh, simulation I just kind of leave that where it is material I use the Fusion 360 material library um, category metal and the name steel so you can uh, certainly go and set most of your uh, if you work in a particular maybe you're strictly a stainless uh, you can uh, work that and at least your default your default uh, material all right and you can set some of the appearance uh, everything here right the meshing uh, graphics and network I just leave as is out of the box data collection your choice um, this is some of the things that um, Autodesk collects to learn more about the program um, so you can read through these and check them if you prefer or, or leave them unchecked uh, I'm not going to get into simulation much again uh, a unit precision and value display I really kind of set these um, general precision I like three decimal places for the way I work in uh, in some of my machine design uh, angular precision point one uh, scientific notation decimal um, and a degree format so uh, decimal point display um, that one you can use the comma or the period uh, display abbreviation for units um, what else high trailing zeros I kind of prefer that one um, minimum precision when hiding trail zeros and material unit display I have inch pound mass and PSI uh, there's a few others you can um, pounds a square foot I kind of typically work in PSI um, you can go BTU so there's a couple other standards uh, metrics certainly if you want to uh, work in that simulation I don't play with this one I kind of let that one alone and now uh, default units um, and the design yes I leave inches uh, again you can see what you want to prefer uh, if you want to work in millimeters or centimeters I leave mine in inches uh, cam simulation the same the only other one here that I think is of a big help uh, I'm going to say um, right here the sketch sketch color these are some of the things that uh, that the fusion team has in beta testing so a lot of these things are uh, just being worked on and they'll probably put them into the next release if they get enough feedback I guess but the first one is the, probably the most important to me and that's uh, sketch color uh, so uh, typically when you do a sketch even if it's fully constrained it'll stay blue but if you have this checked as you constrain your sketch it'll go from blue to black so this is a beautiful uh, little addition I think a nice indicator of how your sketch is constrained so 
I'll uh, I'll recommend this one be checked off. All right, and that's um, that's about it. It's pretty simple. A lot of these are default settings or a few preference, but um, that's the way I have mine set up. It's not a it's not nearly as involved as Inventor, but um, I'm sure they'll build on it as things progress. So I hope this little bit of advantage um, help you out. This is the way I kind of work. I'm sure you'll set your own uh, designs as the way you like it. All right, well, thanks for joining me. Uh, again, this is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Have yourself a great day.